In this video, we will deploy your website frontend to Google Firebase for free in less than 5 minutes. Firebase is a mobile and web application development platform owned by Google. Firebase hosting offers a free tier that includes 10 GB of hosting storage, 360 MB of data transfer per day, and up to 100 hosting sites per project. It is typically sufficient for small and medium-sized websites and projects. I will use a simple HTML, CSS, and JavaScript frontend app, but you can also use React, Angular, Vue, or any other framework. The deployment process is the same for all kinds of applications. The first part is setting up Firebase account. To start using Firebase hosting, you need to sign up to Firebase, and for that, you need to log into your Google account, go to their website, and click on the Get Started button. This will take you to the Firebase dashboard where you need to click on the Create a Project button to create a new project for your website. Give a name to your project and read and accept the Firebase Terms of Policy below and click on Continue. In this step, you can enable Google Analytics to monitor your website traffic. It is optional, but it's a good feature that comes out of the box, which you can use for free. Choose whether you're enabling it or not and go to the next step. If you do enable the analytics, you need to choose the analytics location and also accept the analytics terms to be able to continue and click on the create project. Now it's creating your project. It might take about two minutes to complete. Once the project is created, click on the continue button, which will take you to the Firebase dashboard. Here click on this web icon to start deploying your website. Now you need to choose a nickname for your web app and check the checkbox, which will set up the Firebase hosting for this app. Then click on register app. We need to add Firebase SDK to our project in this step. Here you have two options. You can either set up Firebase in your project with NPM or with a script tag. For my application, I will go with the script tag. We basically need to copy this script provided by Google and paste it at the bottom of our main index.html file. And now our web application is connected to the Firebase hosting by this API key, project ID, and app ID parameters. And in the first step, we need to install the Firebase CLI globally on our laptop. Just copy this command and paste it in your terminal. After the Firebase CLI is installed, we can now deploy our application. But before deploying your website to Firebase, make sure to minify your code and optimize assets. It's not mandatory, but it will boost your website performance a lot. So we can start the deployment and first we need to log in from our terminal so that Firebase recognizes our user. Go to the terminal and type Firebase login. It asks if we allow to collect CLI usage information. This is optional you can type yes or no and press enter. Then it redirects us to the browser for logging in. In the browser, select the Firebase account which you used when creating the project and here click allow to allow Firebase CLI to connect to your account. After logging in, next we need to initialize a Firebase project in our project directory. In the terminal, type Firebase in it. Here we have couple of Firebase features to initialize in our project directory. Since we want to deploy a website, we are interested in hosting. So navigate to the hosting option with arrows and select it by pressing the spacebar. Next, we need to choose if we will use an existing project or we are creating a new one. We already created our project in the last step, so here we need to choose to use an existing project, again using arrows and the spacebar and select the project which you created in the Firebase dashboard. We need to specify the public directory, which basically means the directory where you have located your main index.html file. In my case, it's the demo directory, so I will type demo here. If it's located in your root directory, you just need to type dot here. It detects the index.html file and asks if we want to rewrite all URLs to point to index.html. We will choose yes here. You can set up automatic build and deploys with GitHub, but I will skip it and choose no. Here, it asks to overwrite the main index.html file, and you should choose no, otherwise it will clear the content of your HTML file. And now we can deploy our website by just running Firebase Deploy from the terminal. After deployment, Firebase CLI will give us the hosting URL, which we can open to verify that our web app is deployed. 
As you can see, it is successfully up and running. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more.